being involved in a car crash can be incredibly traumatic. For many car wreck survivors, it can be an arduous process to get your body to heal after such a significant impact. However, imagine just how difficult it must be for a seven-year-old boy to recover. When one seven-year-old was involved in a car crash, doctors told him he would never walk again. However, this little seven-year-old had an amazing support system in the form of a best friend and soon enough, he shocked doctors everywhere when he did the most unexpected thing. Getting involved in a car crash is scary and surviving it is often a miracle. After being involved in a bad collision, it can often be difficult for the body to recover. This happened to be the case with one seven-year-old boy. Rush Monday of Greensboro, North Carolina happens to be a lively seven-year-old boy. He was enjoying his day out with his mom and sister when things took a turn for the worse. The car that the three of them were in suddenly hit an oncoming collision. The car that the three of them were in was suddenly hit in an oncoming collision. The family was immediately rushed over to the nearest hospital. Luckily, all of them had survived and Rush's mom and sister weren't seriously injured. Unfortunately, little Rush had gotten a lot of internal injuries from the crash. The young boy was suffering from some pretty serious internal injuries. They were so serious that he had to undergo emergency surgery at Moses H. Cone Memorial Hospital in Greensboro. Ever since his surgery, the young boy has been bedridden. After such an intense surgery, it was hard for the young boy to move at all. He was bedridden for quite a long time. In fact, anyone that's gone through a similar situation will be able to relate to how hard it is to start moving again once you're bedridden for a certain amount of time. Being bedridden, especially after an accident, can have some seriously devastating long-term effects. Even though it might sound like bed rest is exactly what the body needs, the impact of not moving on the body is really bad. Without movement taking place, our bodies begin to slowly deteriorate. While being bedridden, the muscles in the neck, abdomen, back and legs all begin to deteriorate. In fact, after just a week of being bedridden, patients often lose up to 30% of their muscle strength. This leaves patients with a lot of work left to do on their bodies. Getting the muscles to rebuild their strength is a tedious process and takes a lot of work and persistence. Many patients who start learning how to walk again, for example, find themselves falling down a lot. Bed rest can also weaken the bones, so any falls could result in breaks. Another issue that plagues many patients is cardiovascular problems. Once they begin to start trying to walk again, they often fall because they feel dizzy and lightheaded, with their heart not working at its best. This makes learning to walk again even harder. However, throughout all of this, the best thing that you could offer someone recovering is emotional support. Going through the recovery process is emotionally and physically exhausting, and for seven-year-old Rush, it was especially hard. However, he was lucky enough to not go through it alone. Luckily, Rush had his best friend, Quentin, by his side throughout the entire recovery process. Quentin's mother, Shamika Neal, said that her son was broken-hearted when he found out about the car accident. Quinton knew that he couldn't let his best friend go through the healing process alone. It just broke my heart. Rush is like my son, Neil said. I had to explain to Quinton what happened, and he just broke down in tears, and I had to explain to him, you know, we have to be strong because if you're going to see Rush, we can't be crying. He was like, okay, mommy, I'm going to be strong so Rush can be strong. Having his best friend by his side has made an enormous impact on Rush's recovery time. Each day, Quentin would visit Rush and keep him company at the hospital. The two boys would talk, play air hockey, and Quentin would stand by Rush's side and help prop him up as he took his first steps. The two boys have been best friends since they were four years old. No other words needed, honestly, Rush's mother, Tara Monday, posted on Facebook. But I have to say that when Rush and Quentin met, they were four years old at Reedsville High School pre-K in Mrs. Brown's class we couldn't have imagined the bond that was going to form. These sweet boys have been inseparable since, shared sons to each other's families alike. They're more than friends, more than best friends. They truly are brothers. This world is a better place because of their love for one another. Tara is so thankful that her son has such a wonderful friend by his side during such Tara was completely blindsided by the tragic accident that occurred on October 11th. A car swerved across the center line and headed straight for their car, 
and hit them head-on Tara says that their seat belts are the reason the family's still alive She hopes that her family never has to go through something like this again After rush had undergone his surgery he woke up confused and had no idea where he was The young boy had no motivation to do anything for a while and Tara began to grow worried However, as soon as Quentin began to visit him the young boy's demeanor immediately changed With Quentin by his side rush began to feel stronger and was motivated by his presence He was so happy to see his best friend and he knew that he wanted to get better so that he could begin hanging out with Quentin again It was the ultimate motivator for rush After one month of going through rehabilitation rush is doing better than ever rush is ready to start going back to school and he's been taking his first steps again with Quentin by his side Tara is so thankful that her son's been doing better and that Quentin was around to help out At the hospital rush's entire family and the hospital staff all celebrated his amazing recovery Of course Quentin and his family were there too in on the celebrations These two young boys have managed to show the world what a true friendship is supposed to look like and it's beautiful